this is the sand pit at sensory space I thought I would just give you a quick um, glimpse of it because it's a bit more interesting than yes your bog standard sand pit what we've done is we've added lots of things into the sand for children who really enjoy exploring the sand and sort of seeking out those sensory experiences and what we've got in here which have been really popular are these tiny acrylic diamonds so we get children who really love mining these things out um, we've also cut up bits of shiny paper so they kind of mirror you when you look into them these are also really popular they are those little glass beads that you can get I mean obviously the things in here are really only suitable for children three years and over because of choking hazards but um you know I think it's fine for any children who are being closely supervised who are younger as well it's also great to add things like shells lots of things they can dig out pennies and money can be quite fun as well that would be something I'd recommend doing at home because I haven't quite got enough money to give away at this point but yeah and as well as having this tub of sand with all these exciting things hidden inside them to explore We've also added another tub of lots of things that you can put into the sand. So again, we've got the shells. Um, this nightlight that no longer works is really popular in the sand pit for some reason. We've added ducks, bath ducks. Very simple things like this, little sand watering can. Extremely popular and so simple. Um, and lots of different textures. As well as lots of jungle animals, so you can make your own. Lion King Savannah scene if you want to and as well as spades other things that are quite popular um, are spoons we do mixing as well so this is um, how we've made our very simple sand pit a little bit more jazzy